No. I mean, I consider regular social media just dating sites like Facebook, Twitter. Um, no. Ain't that what people use it for? I think so. That's what everybody, <laughs> that's what it seemed like. Yo, 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 we back. Hey, man, what the fuck is Another up, Another week. I wish you would have told me shit. I just started getting drunk a long time. Another, another episode. Another year. Another century. Another Cheers, millennium. Man. Another decade. Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year. Motherfucking right. New decade, 2020. Know what I'm saying? Y'all bitches ain't slick talking about the 2020 is your year. That's because 2020 equals $40. You still a hoe. I ain't gonna lie. <laughs> All I know is I'm tired of hearing the 2020 vision shit already. They've been, of course. <laughs> Some terrible rapper's gonna use that shit for his mixtape title. 2020 yeah. vision. <laughs> if uh, you don't know by now, I go by the name Regular Ja. Oh, that's my intro. <laughs> Kyle, hey, yo, 80 Proof, we out here. Man, we've been going that long? The BYOB podcast. Yeah, man, it's been a while, man. We got to... <laughs> life be lifing, man. <laughs> we've been going that long. This life. nigga don't remember the uh, format of the shit. Life happening. Introduce <laughs> We got to get it together. Yeah, life does happen. And the crazy shit is, um, I don't know how much more life we about to have, bro. We got World War Three coming up World and shit. World War Three is this shit, upon us. Shit is getting real out here. Trump started a war with Iran. <coughs> Ooh. I ain't <coughs> never heard a nigga choke that hard off no weed. a little good, and I'm getting over a little sickness in my chest. It's a combination of all of the above. That shit bad. I ain't never heard a nigga choke that hard off no creed before. Oh, that's, that's crazy. You disrespectful as hell. <laughs> so we starting off 2020. Your friends ain't your friends, man. <laughs> Leave all that negative friendship in, in 2019. 2020 vision. This is our last episode because I don't fuck with y'all this. <laughs> he secretly ain't fuck with me anyway. <laughs> I, I can't speak too much, but the, the nigga tried to fight me at least five times. <laughs> since, <laughs> since, since the last episode and shit. All right, look, so I'm going to tell y'all, right? <laughs> <laughs> Christmas Eve, me and John was together with some friends, man. I got super drunk on New Year's. It was on Christmas Eve. That shit was bad. It was terrible. It was bad. <laughs> We niggas can't really speak too much on it, but just know, the, just think about probably what your worst night was. This shit was probably yeah, it was, worse. It was probably it was probably worse than that. That shit was bad. I was cool because we had shot down like two bottles. We was we was bad shots in, and then one of our friends challenged me, and the theme for the night was "Ain't no bitch in my blood" because nigga ain't no bitch in my blood. <laughs> but and, nah, yo, the crazy shit though, we can't downplay it. it won't. Just two bottles. Like, nigga, it was two half liters. Yeah, it was bad. <laughs> like, it was bad. That's a, it was, I mean, two half gallons, bro. Like, that shit was... Long story short, I hate fucking tequila. I'm never drinking tequila again. Fuck tequila. Fuck Patron. Fuck Jose. Fuck 1800. Fuck Aristocrat. I'm not drinking no kind of tequila whatsoever. Fuck it. Fuck tequila. All 2020. I mean, nigga, you, you mixed it with... Like eight different liquors, but so the tequila is the blame. Yes, the tequila is the blame because I was fine with the, the other seven. Yeah. So I took one shot of tequila, and I immediately took a second shot. As soon as I took the second shot, I regretted my decision instantly. Instantly, my lips started quivering, my eyes watered, and and that was the last thing I remember. It was just downhill from there. But <laughs> shit was bad. Fortunately, I was in a place of love, so I made it to the couch and I woke up the next day safely. For the most part. It was a lot of love there. It was, it. I mean, <laughs> move it on. Yeah, you had to be there. You just had to be there. Just move know it. I got super drunk on the Christmas Eve, and it was, it was. Moving on. <laughs> Ain't no bitch in my blood, though. No, that 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 was the thing. That was the phrase for like a week and a half straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't no like, bitch in my blood. Every time niggas seen Kyle, that was the first thing they said. Hey, hey Kyle, ain't no bitch in my... Like, this nigga was a celebrity or something. And they just ran, hey, ain't no bitch in my blood. Like, that shit is the number one record right now. Hey, yo, ain't no bitch in my blood. Speaking of which, y'all gonna stop letting me go viral for every fucking thing except this podcast. Yeah, that shit is crazy. Well, actually, one of the times we did go viral because of Oh, yeah. (laughs) But something positive for the podcast, Something positive for the podcast. Like let's 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 pick some other shit on the podcast that's like. Oh, these niggas made a good point. Yeah. Nah, man, I ain't gonna do that. <clears throat> I'm too easy to hate. Yeah. 
So we starting with uh music. We can. We can start with music. Um, uh, I ain't heard shit good lately. Yeah, we ain't been <laughs> here in a while. So rest in peace, Juice World. That shit is wild. Yeah, yeah, that shit is wild. Yeah, we definitely has been a while. We ain't um, uh, yeah, we ain't get to cover, cover that when it happened. So rest in peace to that young man, because it sucks that the young man's life is is gone and that he can no longer make music and do what he loves. However, comma, <laughs> that shit was dumb as a bitch. I mean, he probably looked at it like, yo, either way, ain't my life over. It's not though. I mean, you, it ain't. You take you take your charges, you do your time, and you go. Yeah, but like, that's how. That's when you you supposed to man. You supposed to have a fall, nigga, man. You are supposed to have a fall, nigga. You're you supposed to have a fall, a fall like every. You supposed to like that's just. I thought that was like a, a law. Yeah. Like a law in this shit. Like you supposed to have a fall, guy. <laughs> it should. It's it's not a. It's an unwritten rule amongst people that are with yeah, you. For you sure. know what I'm saying? If you would. If you're in a circle and one of the people in the circle is the main breadwinner, you know what I'm saying, they they put money in everybody's pockets. Yeah. You gotta make sure that they alright. Yeah. So if I'd have seen that coming, say you was the say you was juice world in the situation, I seen that shit coming, I'd have took the charge. I yeah. take it. Cause you can still make the money, you still gonna make sure I'm good and everything yeah. will go on. Like but like you take that kind of charge, the nigga owes you. Yeah. Everything. Everything. So it's like, yeah. all right, because without you it wouldn't it would be nothing. Yeah. But now nobody eats no more. Unless somehow, you know what I'm saying, you know, something transpires for them whatever way. But for the most part, nobody's going to eat because. That should lead to a bigger topic, though, man. You got 2020 and the new decade. Start accepting responsibility for your actions and stop taking the easy way out, yo. You yeah. fucked up, you fucked up. We all fuck up. It's life. That's a fact. Just be like, hey, I fucked up. I'm sorry. Take whatever consequences come with that shit and you yeah. move on. But people don't, man, accountability is fucking, it's a scarce commodity these days. Yeah. Like, niggas don't. It's almost like reading comprehension. Niggas ain't taking, oh man, don't get me started on that shit. Ooh, y'all some stupid motherfuckers. <laughs> <laughs> I love people, man. People are stupid. As fuck. We gotta do better. We gotta do better. But yeah, definitely Way better. to that young man, because his life ended for something that it didn't need that in for. Yeah. And at first, you know what I'm saying, before I found out exactly what happened, I was about to come up here and give a long spill on these young niggas taking these drugs and shit. Yeah. But it's like, the nigga, he wasn't high. No. He was, He just wasn't trying to take that L. Y'all so, taking felony chances and not ready for the consequences of felonies. It yeah. don't make sense. You gotta do better. Yeah, you speaking of which, better. um, shit, they just oh. locked the baby up. Free the baby, man. He he swerved past the whip with the blood in his mouth, and the cops seen that shit, and they locked his ass up. <laughs> that shit bad. They got that man for beating up a promoter in Miami or the Florida. I mean, I respect the principle, but I the the tactic. Yeah, it won't do. Yeah, like he should have he should have did it a different way. Not on camera. Yeah, yeah. So in case y'all miss the story, he did a show in. Uh, Thing was, it wasn't in Miami. It was right above Miami, like Palm Gardens or somewhere. Mm-hmm. And they were supposed to give him thirty for the show. The promoter only gave him twenty, 20. so he was short ten grand. He wanted his money. I whoop a nigga ass over ten grand too. Don't I whoop a nigga ass over ten dollars. Yeah, so <laughs> I completely understand the situation. <laughs> but when you get that kind of money, like you said, you gotta have a fall guy. You gotta have somebody do your dirty work for you, man. Yeah. And then they disrespected this man and pour apple juice on him. You know how much of a bitch niggas think you are if they pour apple juice on niggas you? Niggas don't waste no liquor. Niggas just, man. Pour the chaser on this nigga. Give me that Tropicana. Give me the chaser. I'm going to pour the chaser on this nigga. Give me the Tropicana on this nigga. <laughs> Even Nino Brown in New Jack City pour some wine on the bitch. Like, yeah, like <laughs> the finest of champagne. Yeah. This nigga pour some apple juice. No respect. Some bro. cider. He pour apple cider on the nigga, nigga. Yeah. Celebration, congratulations. <laughs> you got your ass whooped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that sugar in them cuts probably burn like a motherfucker. <laughs> Easy way to an infection. So he gonna be at the baby court date like the nigga on um, state property was he was in bean shit. <laughs> he looked at him and was like, "Yeah." <laughs> Niggas think shit is sweet, man. Like y'all, y'all play Yo, that. The- <laughs> <laughs> so we got the TV. We got the TV monitor play. We're gonna call it a monitor so we sound professional. It's really just a TV in the background play. And this Pepsi commercial it just, just came over was wild caught niggas shit. off guard. Like, Dance yeah, we trying to watch the the game and be professional at the same time, like we do every week. Yeah, 
But that shit won't spoil it just be on the TV just now. Yeah. But yeah, like I'm saying, like, I, I put the status up on Facebook. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas think y'all tough till you run into a tough nigga. Yeah. Like, that's. <laughs> you owe that niggas, man 10 niggas grand. Talk. What, did you, what did you expect that man to do? You owe him 10 grand. Thought he was going to take his L and go? Yeah. Like, niggas mm-hmm. will whoop your ass over $100. $10. Yeah, I got a game fucked up. Women, too. Stop thinking your boyfriend is a Superman and he's super tough and he can beat everybody in the world. Fuck around and get your boyfriend ass beat. Yeah. Y'all believe his war stories. We know better. He only t- niggas <laughs> niggas only tough to their girls. Like in, in, in real life. Like <laughs> Oh, he's crazy. No, he not. No, he's, he's a not. bitch. <laughs> he pussy. <laughs> he is pussy. Your boyfriend is pussy. pussy. <laughs> and we all know it. We just let him live. <laughs> you the only you the only person who asks he can whoop. <laughs> That's why he go off on you. And your boyfriend be tell you about these bodies that he caught and all the niggas he done beat up and shit. Yeah, fuck out of here. That shit got statute of limitations and they are not up. He would not be talking about it. It's over. Um, I don't want to talk about Takashi. Fuck you got to talk about Takashi. I don't want to talk about this nigga, man. I don't really want to talk about Takashi. I mean, we can, all right, we can, we can, we can touch on it. Only because it's such a big motherfucking topic at, the t- at, at, at this moment. <laughs> what happened with Takashi now? Did he do one more time or some shit? Yeah, well, he thought he was getting out for all that ratting he was doing. Yeah. And the nigga still got two years, which, I mean, it's mighty fucking generous of the judge. Yeah. I mean, two years is better than 40. I still would have told, but. Nah, I mean, but we already touched on this shit in previous episodes as far as how he moved and everything. So I didn't see the full story. I didn't get a chance to look it up because you know it's kind of impromptu. We just getting back for the new decade episode, but yeah, French and Fifty beefing, apparently. Yeah, and was it real beef though, or was it just some Instagram? I'm sure it's probably some just shit like Instagram. him and Jim because him and Jim Jones do that shit all the time. You know, Fifty beef with everybody. Yeah, so but funny. him and Jim Jones was well. I mean, I think they really dislike each other now over the snitching shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. When you know Tuka- the whole Takashi tie-in, like. And I, I get Jim Jones' side on that. Like, yeah, I don't even want to joke about me snitching. Like, that ain't funny. That's just not funny. <laughs> like, it's just not funny. Rather, you know what I mean? Even if it ain't true, like, that ain't some shit that I want a nigga to even joke about involving my name. Yeah, I punch you in the mouth. Yeah, that's, that, ain't, that ain't what it is. But no, I think, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm pretty sure this 50 French shit is probably just on Instagram back and forth. Ha-ha shit. They call him Takashi 5'9", nigga. That shit is funny. <laughs> funny. Takashi 5'0". He's, he, that, I mean, that is his son. That's what he say. That's true. Until he started snitching, he, he abandoned the nigga. Damn, 50 don't like none of his kids. 50 don't like nobody. <laughs> like, 50 <laughs> likes 50. Don't like that's why of, I fuck with 50. 50 don't like is all about his 50. Kids. Like, <laughs> if it's not about 50, he don't give a fuck. He was cool with G-Unit until that shit wasn't profitable no more. Yeah. But <laughs> it's life, man. Business. No, and the fucked up thing, the crazy thing is... 50 ain't gonna just cut you off. He's gonna fuck your money up too. Yeah, because it's petty. Like, I, I doubt Buck gonna get booked anywhere. Nowhere. Now. Nowhere. Only person money he really didn't fuck up was Game. Game yeah. dropped a new album recently, since we talking about hip hop. I didn't listen to it. I heard it was all right. Too many songs? Yeah. This nigga, man. I didn't even, look, the sad part is I didn't even pay attention to see how many songs it's were. It's 20 on. tracks. It's too many songs. <laughs> but it's his last. Y'all know me. I'm, if, it's, if it's over 12 to 13 songs, I'm not listening. It's just not going to happen. But it's, it's his last album. That's why he did it. So he's trying to go out on. I mean, that's what he said. All rappers say this is their last album and shit. And then. So who did drop. he name drop on this album? Because I don't know if y'all have noticed on Game's album, Game is a name dropping nigga. Yeah, I mean. He cool. He can rap. But he drop a lot of names when it comes to shit. So I just know he dropped. That nigga, that's what he does. So I mean, I'm gonna just say yeah. When you yeah, say when you say up. who did he name drop, my answer is yeah. Yeah, somebody, somebody <laughs> drop. Some of every fucking body, whether it's good or bad, he's gonna put somebody name in this shit. Um, who else? Who else? The album drop? Cause we gonna get to this Drake interview, but I wanna, I wanna. Nobody else album get the album other shit out. Yeah, I, I mean everything else has dropped like weeks ago that it ain't. Yeah. And now ain't no point in talking about it because. We've heard them for weeks, and we know that they ain't really, yeah. them shits ain't really like that. This is, this was a bad fourth quarter for music. I didn't really, you know, usually the fourth quarter for music is pretty tough. It ended up pretty strong, but yeah. Well, they say this this first quarter is supposed to be uh, like that, though. You know, I guess uh, Kendrick, Cole, and uh, Black supposed to be dropping an album 
in the six, first. Six Black? Yeah, Six Lack. Six Lack. <laughs> that nigga Six Lack's supposed to be dropping an album. Hey, Black is fire, though. It's my f- he's definitely over. He's definitely he's, underrated. Black is fire. He's probably my, he's, he's, probably, he's, he's like my top three right now. Like, not, you know, not obviously yeah, not yeah, ever, yeah. but he's my top three artist yeah, right currently, now yeah, that yeah. I fuck with. And he gonna be at something in the water. That's gonna be fire. So he gonna have the crowd crying and shit. I don't know how we gonna Ready do to it yet, but video. somehow we gonna get a press pass or something in the water. We gonna figure it out. So we gonna be there for y'all. It may be an illegal press pass, so you may <laughs> not see the footage for like two weeks after something in the water. But we gonna get it. Yeah, they might take our shit down. Yeah, but it's cool though. Fuck <laughs> it, it's gonna be up there for a little bit. But we gonna just keep re-uploading the footage until <laughs> until they either ban the account or just let yeah. keep the shit. Real niggas don't give a fuck. Or we just get a fucking uh, camera to Brock. He got the fucking the elite entrance shit where he can be on stage with the artist and shit. So he know, always doing. Yeah, that's my, how my, nigga, my brother spent every bit of a thousand dollars on this ticket. Yeah, he always wow. doing some fancy nigga shit. That's just him. What the fuck? That's just him. That's just what he do. You gotta stop looking at TV while we shoot, man. I'm not. I was talking. I said turn this shit off. <laughs> okay. Nigga talking to me like I'm a little kid. That's easy to talk to people. But yeah, something in the water, that shit gonna be crazy. Cannabis Festival is the weekend before that, so I'm, I'm gonna have a busy fucking week. Uh, April gonna be a, a good month. It's gonna be a... But you know, it's in D.C., which is that shit right there, so... Yeah, yeah. I got some plans for that shit, too. I'm gonna tell you about that shit off air, but I got some, some ideas for Cannabis Festival. That's the Prince of Pot, So you majesty. actually... You actually oh, go ahead. Yeah, the Prince of Pot, Your Majesty of Marijuana, the King of Chronic. I would definitely be at the Cannabis Fest this year. I didn't make it last year due to an accident. I did. But I would definitely be there this year. And I made sure I sent this nigga all kind of he snap did. pictures and he videos did. and shit. He did. Made me realize I was missing out my life laid up in the bed. But I would definitely be there this year. I gotta go. The craziest shit, the nigga wasn't even mad he missed the festival. This nigga was like, damn, man, I missed the, the ludicrous performance. I like ludicrous. So I was like, I mean, you was, you sounded distraught. So, I mean, I, I believe it. You sounded like you was distraught about missing ludicrous performance. I've never seen ludicrous before. Oh, that's why. That's yeah. why you were so sad. You're real judgy, man. I like what <laughs> I like, okay? I mean, he killed the shit. I mean, I guess he killed the shit. I mean, we all the songs we all knew. Stay tuned. We're going to keep y'all up to date with all festivals shit. and All festivals and shit. We about to start moving around. And we yeah. about to start doing this live shit. Soon. Cruises, parties. We, we, it's going to be a good 2020 for us. We're going to ride around. That's a fact. Now, don't judge us because I might shoot some footage on my phone and shit. It was still going to look clear as a motherfucker. Yeah, no, these shit shooting 4K now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, we so do, I mean. There might be some impromptu shit that you see on the page. We're going to live life and really show y'all this year. Yeah, what you think about uh, Andre 3000? He don't want to drop no more music. I heard I'm that sure you've seen the interview by now. And it's not that he <clears> don't want to. He just don't have it in him right now. And that sucks, man, because Andre's a. No, let's, let's call it what it is. He has it in him. You motherfuckers. Look, keep fucking shit up with people. You fans. He said, y'all are too unpredictable. You too judgy. Y'all are not fans no more. You more critics than you are fans. And he's not in a comfortable enough space to drop no shit and have you motherfucking shit on his music. So So basically what he said is y'all pussy. Y'all are so fucking sensitive, man. The world is so sensitive. That that man is afraid to make music because he don't know how they're going to react to it. That's That's, wild. This Andre 3000. This, This nigga made bombs over Baghdad. Like, do you know how wild just the name of that <laughs> the song is? The name of the is? song alone is called Bombs Over Baghdad. He predicted World War Three, by the way. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's a fact. Now that I think about it, you're right. That's wild, man. I seen this week. They got on Twitter. They got on this dude because he said that Tiana Taylor and Ari Lennox, he said he finds it amazing how... They keep sex appeal even though they look like pit bulls or some shit like that in the face. Rottweilers. He said they're like Rottweilers in the face. <laughs> the internet was in a fucking uproar. Oh, oh my yeah. God. This man hates black women. How could he talk bad about a black woman? He's raised by a black mother. Like, motherfuckers, it was a joke. I don't get how you... We all know Tiana Taylor like a Rottweiler in the face. But her body is bad as a motherfucker. We would all fuck the cold shit out of Tiana Taylor. <laughs> Facts. No but, disrespect to Iman, but he know. That's why he married. He know what time I don't know is. that nigga. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> like, come on, man. It's not... Y'all got to learn to take jokes for fucking jokes, man. Just because you make a joke about a black woman does not mean that you hate black women. No, but it's a double fucking... That's the craziest double standard because it's like... 
they say some shit about us, we got to just take the shit. Like, mm-hmm. it, it just is what it is. We need to stop being so sensitive. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to tell y'all, I make jokes about every motherfucking thing. I don't care what it is. Life, you have to find the funniness in life to get through it. Yeah, so yeah. I make jokes about shit, but I love black women. I love black women to fucking death. That's a fact. Do, does that mean Tiana Taylor doesn't look like a Rottweiler in the face? No. <laughs> the fact still remains. Like, She's just a pretty one. Yeah. She still maintains her sex appeal. He even gave him a compliment. But they, they yeah. really chewed this man up. So the hypocritical shit is they found pictures of like this man's mother and was talking shit about this man's mother. Like what does that have to do with the conversation? But you're doing the same shit you're condemning this man for. But that's, that's what this cancel culture does though. That's, that's what it's about. That shit is wild. That's how, every, that's how everybody moves. It's like, all right, just take it back. Like when you said, the, I like my women, little up top, big down bottom. Yeah. Like, the first thing that they did was went to go find like whatever picture of you. And being that you were a bigger nigga, it was like, oh, he got a preference. He ain't a preference. Like when, when did big niggas not become a preference? Because from what I see on my timeline. Women love us. It's big nigga season, baby. You better get you one. Yeah. For the winner here. And I ain't gonna, you know, I ain't gonna confirm or deny, but I may or may not have had a couple of joints in my um, DM asking me to rub my belly. Facts. Why did twenty? Yo, I came into twenty twenty single. That shit is. Ain't that hot? No man. <laughs> nah, man. You know, these past couple of years been off and on, and back and forth and shit. But I mean, I came in like single, single. Like, yeah, I could leave my phone <laughs> ringer on single. <laughs> <laughs> You can call me at 3 o'clock in the morning. Ain't nobody going to question me who the fuck is calling me at 3 o'clock in the morning single. Like, like we going Dutch single. Yeah. <laughs> That's the wave. Fellas, <laughs> if she tells you that you're just a friend, when y'all go out to dinner, make sure her ass pays for her own fucking meal. Yeah. That's what friends do. <laughs> they pay for their own shit. Yeah, don't let her treat you like Biz Marquee. She want to just be friends. I had to cut a couple people off of that shit. <clears throat> Duh. I ain't, gonna, I ain't gonna say too much, but yeah, I, I have to. I, <laughs> say, but that's it. I cut a I bunch of people to. off before 2020 started. I'm not gonna lie to you. I did it two weeks before though. Well, you know why I didn't? I didn't. I ain't cut nobody off this year for 2020. I did. You know why? Why? Because I don't fucking hang around people I don't like. This is true. <laughs> I mean, I did. I, it's not that I didn't like them. I just realized that they weren't beneficial for my life. That they were giving more than they were giving. Yeah. Well, I mean, I tried to cut one person off, but then I was like, damn, this nigga's my fucking podcast co-host. Like, uh, fuck I ain't going nowhere, man. For life. For <laughs> life. Fuck, I'm going to do this. For life. And this nigga's like my, he's like a brother to me, so. Real life friend, yeah. We're real life friends, man. So. But no, nah, man. I, call, I, gave, I sent out a text message around like the 15th of December to a few women that I was having conversations with. <laughs> so you with. announced the cutoff? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I announced it. I said, look. <laughs> You got two weeks. <laughs> Come January 1st, I'm not fucking with you like that no more. In my mind, what I was really saying was, so you got two weeks to give me some pussy before I'm really completely done with you? It didn't quite pan out that way. I was going to ask, did it work? No, it didn't. It didn't quite pan out that way. Did they give a fuck? No, apparently not. <laughs> so it was like, I mean, cool. If you don't give a fuck, then I'm cutting you off. Apparently that means it's okay to cut you off. So life goes on. Yeah, she don't give a damn, you don't give a fuck. Exactly. But yeah, that's wild. Like, how you try to cut somebody off and they don't even care? <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, I'm not talking anymore. I, I mean, that, that's fine. Like, me. shit, damn, that's what's up, bro. Yeah, man, be, be, wish be you safe. the best. I yeah, you be safe. I don't know, I don't know <laughs> what you want me to say in this, in this, at this time, but I, I wish you the best, I guess. Imagine you go to cut somebody off and they'd be like, thank you, my nigga. Like, thank <laughs> you. You saved me from having to have this conversation with you. <laughs> Like, I was just about to call you and tell you this same shit. That's wild. <laughs> nah, you just got to hit him at that point. I mean, you don't hit the shorty. <laughs> I was about to say, <laughs> wow, man. Just like, talking about people in general. <laughs> <laughs> we don't condone the domestic violence. No, 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 no. We don't condone the domestic violence. And either way, that means women don't put your hands on men either. Men don't put your hands on women. We don't condone the domestic violence. Yeah, like, what the fuck is this shit about, like, women hitting niggas in their sleep and shit? I've been seeing that a lot lately. Yo, I have no idea. So, wild story in correlation. I have no idea. So, I was hanging out with two friends a while ago, a couple weeks ago, and they were drunk and talking shit on the phone mm-hmm. to a nigga that they knew, and they really was just joking this nigga about how his girlfriend beats him up. 
And at first I thought it was just some shit. They, yeah, at first I thought it was just some shit they were saying, but after it was continuously said, it was just like, "Wow, well, my nigga, your girlfriend really put hands on you. You don't do shit about it. Like, <laughs> that's odd. Could be me. I, I ain't just, telling you to fuck her up, but yeah, you gotta at least yo, get the fuck off me. Or something like, like, yeah, get the fuck off me. Shake her or throw her onto the couch. If you yeah. gonna throw her, make sure you throw her onto something soft, like the couch or the bed or something. If like, yo, attacked. every nigga grew up watching wrestling. You could, you not a, you a could fool do Nelson something. or something yeah, like, like put in the cobra, clutch it. Nah, I'm I'm going, I'm putting her in a diamond cutter, nigga. <laughs> oh, you gotta do something. Just, <laughs> it's I okay might fuck defend. around and go put the legs up like Goldberg and jackhammer her ass. It's okay. I'm gonna to just do yourself. some. Yeah. yeah, just don't. You ain't got to OD on all of it. Yeah, you ain't got to smack in the head with a fucking yeah. coffee table or some coffee what, pot or some crazy shit. What I say is like, if a woman's ever attacking me, like hitting me, I probably could deal with the hits. But you're not about to just keep attacking me. Now, I'm also not going to punch you in your face full strength because I know I punch grown men in the face full strength and I know it does. So, yeah. I may just grab you by your face and mush you out my way. Like, yeah. So, what do they usually do? Like, laugh? Yeah, or? yeah. I don't, I don't really get in fights. Like, when you, I'm talking about niggas. When you hit them, they just laugh or they just be like, yo, damn, my nigga. Like, we're not going to discuss that. <laughs> just, no. <nah. laughs> I don't hit people, I'm non violent. Yeah, I'm by any means necessary. Yeah, just, just know ain't no, <laughs> yeah, just know ain't no bitch in my blood. I ain't no killer, but don't push me. I'm, I'm, I'm more so by any means necessary. <laughs> but yeah, let's get back on topic though. Yeah, um, absolutely. We don't, we don't have any topics. Fuck this shit. I'm getting drunk too. <laughs> so nah, I mean, I definitely. Um, yeah, we off Andre three thousand. Oh, uh, ain't really too. I mean, I, not off Andre three thousand, but off the. Oh yeah, off the topic. <laughs> off the topic. Yeah, I'm not um, one to make music. Yeah, like I said, it's depressing, and it was just, like you said, it's because of cancel culture and just the world being too fucking sensitive, man. Like, I ain't so fucking sensitive. Yeah, and everybody doesn't like. I don't know. We've said this on this show before. You know, everybody doesn't have to accept what you accept. They don't have to like what you like. Some things you're gonna find offensive. If you find it yeah. offensive, move on, Nick. Like, move on. Yeah, I and mean, that's the thing. Like, people don't people don't grasp that concept of life. It's like. They feel like, yo, if I believe in this shit, everybody needs to believe in this everybody shit. Everybody has to accept it. I don't. I don't. Oh, you, know the, you know the best thing to say to somebody when they trying to debate you? What? Okay. They hate that shit. I be saying that shit, they be like, well, what if... Okay. Well, you gotta be. Because you can what if anything to death. Yeah. No, I just start saying... Once I get tired of hearing that shit, and just, okay. You got it. Okay, that's nice. Oh, that's cool. My nigga, okay. I will okay him to death. Yeah, I usually just walk away. I'm not really about to tear on the conversation. I really want to. I'm not that mature yet, so I'll, I'll stand there and just okay him to death. You know who else isn't that mature? <laughs> Drake. Yes, <laughs> that's a fact. Drake is not that mature. <laughs> Let's talk about it. That, Let's who, motherfucking talk about it. Who did that interview? Was it Complex or I don't know who he did the interview? Uh, Rat Radar. Rat Radar. That's who it was. It was B Dot and them. Yeah, he did that with Rat Radar. It was a good interview for the most part. It was. Wasn't it like two hours long? Somewhere around there. Yeah, I didn't watch the whole thing. I did. I, I wanted to. I, I ain't had shit in my heart. With my look, life. When it, that saying charge it to my head and not my heart is a real thing, man. Because <laughs> I really be meaning to do a lot of shit in life and it just doesn't get done because my head just be like, fuck it. My heart be in it, though. Sometimes. I'm lying. <laughs> you lying. <laughs> I'm lying. I was waiting. I was waiting for the truth to come out. I'm lying. But nah, they um I had to take a quick drink break. But nah, yeah, that nigga Drake, man. I like his awareness of 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 his position and what's going on and everything. Cause a lot of people think Drake was a little more green than what he is. Oh. I think Drake probably he's probably a solid nigga for what it is. Yeah. I mean, I can see it. I fuck with anybody who keep it real and what they consider their real world. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. If you're being true to yourself and you just speaking your feelings and that's how you feel about something, I can never be mad at you for how you feel. Yeah. You know no, that's, for that's expressing true. how you feel because that's how you feel. Um, I may not necessarily agree with it, but I'm not mad at you for being you. Like, that's why I respect Joe Button. We all know Joe Button is a fucking lunatic. Like, yeah. he's an overly emotional nigga. But Joe knows that Joe's a lunatic over emotional nigga. Yeah, and so, he can laugh at his Yeah, trauma. he can laugh at it. So I have no choice but to respect that from that man. So Yeah, that nigga, um... But nah, Drake, so... 
I'm trying to I'm trying to think of where I want to start <laughs> as far as the interview go. I know he said he still doesn't he doesn't respect Pusha T. He don't believe Pusha T is drug dealer. I mean, yeah, he said that. Um Yeah, matter of fact, let's start with that. He's he said he he feel like he lost the beef. Which but he not did. he did. But his reasoning behind why he think he lost, I I respect it. What was the reason? He think he lost because not because he said he definitely don't think he got out barred. This is his words. He said, I don't, I don't, I don't feel like I got out barred. It was, what can I say back that's going to be a bigger shock than Drake has a baby he's hiding? He was like, yo, I can, I can come back and say, spit the illest shit I've ever spit, and it's not going to matter. It's not going to matter. He's right. That's why he feel like he lost. And that's, that's honest. Yeah. Because when we all looked at the story of Adidon, we all looked at it like, Nigga, what the fuck can you say back? <laughs> the crazy and, thing and is... that's when they tried that whole bullshit, like, oh, Drake got a, a song that was written and it's on the stash, and we all knew that was some bullshit. Nah, he said he, um, he said in an interview, too, he really did have the song recorded and everything. He was like, he, uh, he didn't drop it because he said if he would have dropped that, the shit was going to go to places that he, he didn't want it to go. Like, he wasn't willing to take it. Well, he didn't want to take it or some shit like that. I feel you. I, so I feel like he was about ready to, get to take it there. Crazy personal. Yeah, and, but it probably yeah, it's probably some shit you're not ready, but you're really not ready to go to war with. You don't go to yeah. you don't go to war with somebody who has nothing to lose. And not saying yeah. that Pusher didn't have anything and, to lose, but yeah, and that's and that's the kind of that's the point that he tried to make as far as he was like, yo, I'm here and he's here and do. It ain't even just, like, it ain't even about status. It's just about no, but that's no, that's what that was his his yeah. his, his his words. Just I fuck with Pusha, so I'm not, you know what I'm saying, as far as status and shit, I don't... But that's just rule for life. Like, if you don't... Somebody who don't give a fuck more than you don't give a fuck, you're going to lose. Yeah. You're going to lose. And that's why I tell people, stop. Like, I'm a petty person. I can be... <laughs> as a know motherfucker. Me. I can be the pettiest <laughs> nigga. You can also be the nicest nigga on earth. But I can be the pettiest motherfucker on earth. So it's like, leave me alone. Don't start no petty shit with me, and we not going to go down that road. Because that's, that's not a road you want to go down, because I'm going to out-petty you. Out of spite now. Out of spite. Yeah, it, <laughs> like, it's out of pride. Like it's nothing but pride. Like you're not gonna, you're not gonna win. I will stoop to the lowest of lows <laughs> to prove yeah. a point. Now this shit is just straight yeah. spite. Now I want to hurt you. I'm, I'm out. I'm out to hurt you. I'm out to hurt your feelings. I want to hurt your pride. I need to attack your family. Like, like I, I, yeah, I have. To, I have to win this. Like, yeah, by any means necessary. Yeah. So when you go, to, don't don't start shit with people like that. Yo, it's not. It's not worth it. It's not. And I know there are some people in the world who don't give a fuck more than I do. And I know not to go to war with them people. It's like fighting a drunk white boy. You ever fought yeah. a drunk white boy? Twice. How did that go? I won both times, but they didn't realize I won because the niggas kept... It's a fucking workout, <laughs> B. <laughs> shit is a workout. Motherfucker, that wasn't shit. Like, nigga. Bro, I hit him once, he looked at me, he's like, hit me again. I was like, nope. You got you to gotta treat them like a little kid when you don't feel like playing them. No yeah, like, right, you, you got win. it. You, you win. You win. You got it. <laughs> Like, like you about won. To, about to like you ever fought your nephew or something? Yeah. And they, you beating the shit out of them and they just, they just keep going. Like, like yeah. yo, okay, they, you let them hit you that one time on your arm. It's just like, yo, okay, you won. Uh, yeah. Ow, ow, you won. You got it. You win. Oh, you beat me up. It is okay to pick and choose your battles in life. You don't have to fight every one of them. But yeah, he he also said he felt like um, Kanye sick pusher on him. I don't believe that. I don't though. believe that either. Because Pusha already. Yeah, Pusha was he, already. He, he after, didn't like the nigga because yeah. of the whole Wayne situation and all of that, and then. And I don't think Pusha's the type of nigga where Kanye can call him up and be like, "Yo, I want you to go out Drake and push you." Like, okay. I just don't I, see. Pusha's petty. I do feel like <laughs> Pusha's the kind of nigga that. I mean, because he, he already can did. Call him be like, but it's because he already didn't like the nigga. You know, yeah. Like, Them niggas ain't dying for you. Niggas forgot all about that. Like, this shit been brewing for years. For that was years. like, what, 2013, 2014? Yeah. That actually shit was fire, too. That shit was crazy. But yeah, like, yeah, he, he smoked Wayne and, and Drake on yeah. that shit. You signed <laughs> to a nigga that signed to a nut. Yeah. They're not really good at responding to people that come after them. Like, Baby never responded to Ross when idols become rivals. And we're not expecting Baby to rap, but I didn't even recall Baby addressing the situation. Not even expecting. I don't want to hear that. This is also very true. Like, you want to hear a baby Ross diss record? Yeah. I mean, I'm going to listen to it. Because it's bad. Yeah. 
It's, it's, it's going to be trash. But hold on. Is it Baby or is it Stunner? It's got to be Stunner. It's got to be Stunner. Because I ain't going to front. Back in the day, Stunner used to he it's used to rap. Be, no, he didn't. It, it was, just it just sounded good because of the production in there, boom, and everybody else that was on the song that, would have yeah, like good. it sounded good. Like he sounded okay on that like Father Like Son album, but it, yeah, it, but I mean Rain yeah, Wayne like, wrote most sure. of the fucking album. So, yeah. um, what else? What else? What else um, happened in the interview? What other clip did I see from that shit? That might have been that might have been the only clip that I that was. I mean, you know, that was the the main thing that everybody cared about. Yeah. Um, the rap, the rap, this shit. He said he don't remember. You know that the chips with the dip. He said he don't remember doing that shit. He was drunk. He probably was. That makes sense. He was like he was trying to walk in the back to go to the locker room. He said he turned around and it was just mad cameras right there. So he know he right. didn't know what to do. Coming from a nigga who just had a wild drunk night, I definitely yeah. understand. <laughs> we had a few. Because New Year's was just as crazy. Yeah, New Year's, was, New Year's was fun, though. I stayed conscious on New Year's. I remember everything that happened. Yeah, I, I don't quite too. remember when I fell asleep. I remember that big ass that came in that motherfucker. Oh, my Lord. Um, so, uh, she was fat. Shout out to Acura. <laughs> Acura. Acura. Yo, that shit, that's, that's forever going to be funny. Hey, I'm bringing my nigga Jason. Black got to come on the show, man. Yeah, yo. Yeah, come back. And when you come, last time he came, he was all, he was Jason. We need him to come back as black. Yeah, man. Or at least Jay Poetry. That'd we be need some wild shit too. We need one of the two. Let me get both. Let me get both. I don't want Jason. He was all political and. Yeah, I don't want to hear that shit. We need we need social media, you nigga. Niggas like to get in front of this <laughs> camera and act brand new. Not me, yeah. bitch. You gonna hear what you hear. It is what it you is. Know, I don't give a fuck. Either you gonna like it or you not. And if you don't, fuck you. Um, my post on social media this week, my goal post that I thought it was, because once a week, typically once or twice a week, I have pretty great posts on social media. And the post this week was, like we talked about earlier, how uh, bitches think that their boyfriends are crazy, but they're only tough at home. Oh, yeah. Like, you know. Niggas just... don't, niggas be pussy. <laughs> but yeah, don't, don't, the same shit that I say on here is the same shit you're going to hear me say in real life if you catch me hanging out. The same shit you're going to catch on my social media. The crazy shit is, we probably censor ourselves, and people say we wild, and we probably this is the censored us, the like edited version. The shit that they can say when ain't no cameras around, <laughs> man, what the fuck? Word. If you see something on my social media, you'd be like, yo, that was wild. Believe that was the edited thought about version. Yeah, that I put up. <laughs> like we was probably in a room somewhere, and niggas probably said some way wilder shit than what was actually typed down. But yeah. So shit, I mean, yeah, the Drake shit, um, it was a good interview, though. Like, it was a lot of little key points. You know, they asked him about a lot of, like, little shit on the come up, like certain albums, which one of his albums was the best, and all of that shit, and I think he picked nothing was the same. I would probably go there with that as Drake's best album, um, only because he didn't write if I'm reading this, this too, if you're reading this, it's too late. To oh, yeah, oh, how the fuck am I missing that? He touched on that. He said, dog, anything that he spit, he wrote. Now, hold on. But he said, of course, he's he's taken like reference tracks and, you know what I'm saying, did whatever. But he said, any bar that he ever spit, he wrote that. Didn't we hear the reference track for the song? Wasn't it the same as He exact said, bars? any bar. No, he said his bars. So I guess he said like hooks and shit. He said, yeah, of course, niggas. Have, he said, if you can find a, one I mean, person yeah, who has not had yeah. a hook wrote for them, let me know. Maybe I can go back and listen to that reference track again. But I thought it was like the actual bars were pretty much the same. Yeah, kind of shit. well, I think that's what he was saying. So his singing, he said that some of his singing songs he he co-wrote or, you know what I'm saying, or had co-writers on the singing shit. But he said any rap song, he that's him. That's all him. Which, I mean, I believe him. Again, I go. I gotta go back and listen to the reference track, but I mean, it's, I don't. It's not that I think that Drake can't rap. I know Drake is capable of rapping. It's just that yeah. particular album. I with, mean, he with what that particular album did for you, for that to be the album that niggas be able to call you out, like he had help on this album. Yeah. It was tough. That album had like almost every track on the album was on the charts at the same time. 
Like, yeah. it was some wild. It was some wild and that shit, shit was that like album. 17 songs on that yeah. album. It was some wild shit. shit. He had like 15 on the charts. It was some wild shit. So, for that to be the album that did so well as far as mainstream goes, and that be the one that you're accused of getting help on, I gotta do some research on it. Yeah. So we might we might revisit just for a touch up. And um. Y'all got some new shit popping with this, so y'all can get the sound bites and everything. It's fire. <laughs> Coming soon next week. And then um, he touched on him being the culture vulture too. Or people, you know, how people say he is a culture vulture. Like every time we look up, he's he's sounding like a Jamaican or he's sounding. I think he's an opportunist. Like it's a, but he said anytime he does that, he he's gotten blessings from like people, the top people that yeah. do it. Like the soca shit, um, the Afro soca, yeah. whatever he talked to them. Um, yeah, I mean, of course they gonna get Drake a pass because he's fucking Drake. Like, yeah. Why would you not get Drake? Yeah, but he said he does it not to be a culture vulture or to bite or whatever he said. But if I don't switch my sound up, all they're going to say is he sound the same. I keep sounding the same yeah. and people are going to stop wanting to fucking listen to me. And that's why I said I think he's, it's more of a him being an opportunist versus him being a culture vulture. Like if you see there's a lane that people are feeling and you can do something in that lane, go ahead and yeah. do it. The shit works for him. Yeah. I ain't mad at the force. Yeah, so it's like. I mean, if, if if he's doing it and the shit is fucking, is working and he's getting the blessings from the people who actually do those genres of music. You know what? I really don't care. Cause I don't listen to that Drake shit no way. Like that shit that Drake put out like that is, that's a weird call. Um, is not. I like to hear Drake rap. Yeah. So I don't care about Soka Drake. I don't care about Reggae Drake. I don't care about. You know, Latin Pitbull Drake, whatever the fuck. Like, I'm cool <laughs> on it, so I'm not gonna listen to it. So as long as Drake give me the bars, that come he on, my nigga, you definitely was pumping that. I got my eyes on you. I hated that song. <laughs> <laughs> Even the song "Nice for What," like I'm borderline on. Like, it's a cool song, but it was it was kind of mm. it was all over the place to me. Yeah. Mm. So, but I mean, shit, but he get his money. And he, I know like that he make good music, so I can't even mad at him. I think what Drake does, I mean, every artist do it, but he does it more so. He just experiments with niggas. Yeah. Like, he, with around. his music, he just he experiments, around. and he's like, oh, it's y'all actually art. like that? Yeah. Okay, let me, Fuck let's it. make an album based off of that. That's why, if you notice, he always throws out one or two feeder songs before he drops his album, mm-hmm. and then he drops the shit. You know who is a culture vulture? Kanye. Number one on the motherfucking gospel. <laughs> number one on the gospel charts. Number one on the gospel number one on charts. the gospel charts. That is a culture vulture. Actually, he got two number one albums on the gospel charts now. His shit, and then now nah, I ain't gonna front though. The Sunday service, that album is fire. I I didn't. First of all, I don't like gospel music. It's just me. I don't like most of it. So I didn't want to listen to it. Cause yo, gospel music makes me sad, bro. It does. <laughs> like, I don't it's know. supposed to be uplifting and shit. Yeah, you know, like, it, like a lot of it makes me sad. Makes you realize how much of a piece of shit you are, doesn't it? That's fucked up. I mean, yeah, but that's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but that's fucked up. You can say that shit in front of company. I mean, hey, if you're a piece of shit, you're a piece of shit. But no, nah, I mean, it won't. It, it was a good album. Like I mean, pizza and the shit moves you like in between this piece of shit. <laughs> it was um, it was a good album though. My grandma liked it. She didn't know it was because he's he don't rap like on the Sunday service. He's not up there at all. That's exactly oh uh, well no. So you got like a bunch of pop and gospel acts on it. Nah, it's it's like a like got like church music. It's a, it's a gospel album. It's an actual gospel. So album. who's who's singing on it? Like who's... he got a choir. It's a choir. Sunday the oh. Sunday church service or Sunday service choir whatever that yeah now, i'm sure i'm sure because kanye is a fire producer kanye has a good music ear yeah, i'm sure he probably put that together well yeah he's just such a musical genius that you it's gonna work yeah it's gonna work i still don't want to hear the shit but i believe i believe that worked yeah i mean it's not something i can listen to every day but no gospel music or something i can listen to every day unless it's kurt franklin because i'd be forgetting that's gospel half the time <laughs> it's because you and kurt franklin relating porn is that what Kurt Franklin was known for watching porn? I need to know what categories he was watching before yeah. I before I agree to this shit. Look, that's how I'm gonna judge my next relationship. Before I get into my next relationship, I need I'm, to see your search yeah, history. Yeah, let me see your search bar history. <laughs> your porn, huh? I need to see what type of motherfucking porn you watching. Cause what the fuck is what the fuck is going on? 
So what, like, the crazy shit, so, all right, say you in a, in a motherfucking relationship with a joint for, like, five years, right? Mm-hmm. And you catch, you happen to catch that search history, and everything she searches the opposite of what you are. Like, what do you, like, like, yeah, like, what would you do? You, I don't even fucking know. You feel terrible, yo. It's got to make you feel bad. Like, she's going out, her, out of her way to motherfucking put that, type that shit in. Because typically what you look for in porn is some shit that you don't get on a regular basis. Like, yeah. it's some shit that you really want. <laughs> and it's all the opposite of, like, you. The, I don't know. That shit. Bitch, why are you looking at skinny niggas with big dicks? Like, <laughs> <laughs> the only opposite part is the fact that I'm fat. Okay. Let's just <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I, I, I won't go touch on the shit. I mean, I had to clarify. You said it wasn't you said for you. Me. It was for the people. No, I, I know I the fuck it won't for me for anyway, people. nigga. Hold on. <laughs> I know the fuck it won't for me, but they go tell that. And when that I say for the people, I mean specifically. Comments. When I say for the people, I mean specifically <laughs> for the women. Because <laughs> that whole shit will go left too. Specifically for the women, I had to clarify. Hey, bro, it's 2020. I mean, not for me, but. I'm mean, starting the OnlyFans you, in 2020. <laughs> fuck that. If you were to live. Women out here getting this OnlyFans money, I want in. Poor Hub is cutting checks. Yeah. So, Speaking of Poor Hub. Before we get off of this music shit and go on the sports. Hey, we, we off of music. We on the porn. No, <laughs> no, this ties in. This motherfucker ties in. Shout out to OT Genesis, man. What did he do? I missed that. So Keisha Cole got his motherfucking, the Crip song? Uh-huh. Take I remember it down. That. I remember, okay. So he, he, it's banned from YouTube, so this nigga uploaded the video on, on the Pornhub. Pornhub. <laughs> hey, Pornhub has a lot of banned videos on it, like that you can't, like yeah. movies and shit yeah. that you can't no, find that's the world. a fact. Pornhub definitely has them on there. I mean, it's fucking Pornhub, so. Yeah. But Pornhub is cutting checks. They cutting checks. I seen a girl with a $12,000 check for Pornhub. Yeah. Dog. Sign me up, B. Look. No, what's the, it's, so, a, it's a couple. Every black people. Oh, Rock and Shay. Everybody know them. Yeah. And they fucking, I know they, they, they got to get bread. They got like 100 videos. Yeah. So I'm going. Not that I've watched okay. <laughs> 100 of their video. I'm just saying they have yeah. like 100 videos. But yeah. you know how when you scroll. You know the the what is it the cookies or whatever? You know how like it kind of keeps like whatever close the category of the shit you search mm-hmm. like the suggestions. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> Continue. Don't keep talking. Continue. <laughs> so it just yeah, it'd be a lot of like related items. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what do you be searching for that makes it a related item, John? So we moving on to sports. <laughs> so we, sports is next, right? <laughs> nah, before that, I look, if y'all see me on Pornhub in a month, mind your motherfucking business, all right? I mean, click on it and, and view the video, but other than that, mind your motherfucking business. Because I'm going to Vegas in three weeks, and the the adult video expo is that weekend. So, I'm trying to get me a job while I'm out there, B. Hey, man, you just, I heard about Vegas. You might want to watch out, though. According to Kevin Hart, what happens in Vegas is not stay in Vegas. And that's what no. I want. I want to be able to make a porn. And for it to get out to the world and for me to make some money off of it. That's it. I'm starting OnlyFans 2020 is coming. I'm selling, I my, mean, I'm selling my dictures. <sighs> I don't yeah, I don't know. I don't even know what the fuck to say. <laughs> dictures, point. dick pictures. Oh, I know what the fuck that is. I've I've Y'all stop stealing my shit until I'm copywriting my shit, man. People like to steal my shit. So on the sports. We in the playoffs, baby. As much shit as both of us talking about each other's teams at the beginning of this year, we both ended up making the playoffs. We both there. Y'all made it as the number one seed. So and we both Carolina. stopped somebody in our division from going. From going. Fuck Dallas. We got the Rams the fuck out of there. Fuck Dallas. And and the Cowboys. And yeah, so I'm hoping. Um, I'm mad that Dallas fired. Um, Jason Garrett. Me too. I, I wanted them to keep yeah, that nigga for like 10 more, like five more years or so. Keep being like, fucking terrible. But the crazy thing about it is, it don't matter who they hire as the coach. Jerry Jones is still going to run the fucking team. They're still not going to win. They can go back and get fucking Jimmy Johnson or whoever the fuck they want to get. They can get, the, they can get Belichick over there. They're not going to win unless they let the coach run the fucking team. Yeah, that's very true. But Jerry Jones is the owner needs, and the fucking GM. He needs to hire a GM and step down to that and just be the owner. 
Yeah, because you know I'm, that's some wild cheap shit of Jerry to do, yo. Yeah. And he probably pays himself. He probably has yeah, himself on saying, his like, own payroll. I can save a couple million dollars by not <laughs> hiring a GM. It's probably some tax shit like Bill yeah. Gates used to do where he only paid himself a dollar so he get a huge tax. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm wild. saying. He just gives us, makes his own self a tax write-off because he pays himself as GM. That's wild. And then writes the shit off and gets paid off of paying himself. Smart man, though. The Smart fucking man. genius. He's the highest paid fucking owner in but the NFL. fuck them because they sit in the fuck at home. Fucking bums. Y'all still them boys? They still... <laughs> they, they, they them boys on the fucking they, couch. They and still you know them fucking this boys? Shit? I talk this shit because we made the playoffs with the fucking replacement players. Like, we playing with... Like, literally, not second string. string players. We're playing with third and fourth string players. We signed a roster or playoff squad. Yeah. Practice squad players. Y'all, um, y'all got... Uh, what's his name? Ertz? Ertz back this week. He might be back this week, but I don't think he's going to play too much. He got a lacerated kidney. They're not going to run him too much. They're not going to risk his career. Nah, you ain't going to come back from that injury and then have a nigga running 40-yard sprints down the field. Yeah, or crossing routes across the middle of the field where you're going to take a shot. Like, that's not smart. So let's not do that. Yeah. Um, as we're shooting, shout out to the Texans because they beat the Bills earlier. Deshaun me. Watson is a fucking animal. An animal. He's a fucking animal. Like, man, that, that fucking hit. That he didn't take. I watched them two weeks come shit. free, and I'm looking at this play like, oh, they're gonna be carting this man off the field. Like, yeah, dog. No. Not the play is over. Not he's gonna take a sack. Not the ball. They're crazy. Like, they're about to cart this man off the field because they're coming from two sides, unprotected. He has nothing to do. And I don't know how he came out of that shit, but it ended up making a great play. I think it was to Duke Johnson. Yeah, I ain't gonna speak too soon, but yeah, when he got hit. Because, you know, watching it live and shit. So when he got hit, I thought he went down. I didn't even realize he spun until I saw him coming out of, like, the... You know how, like, in the cartoons when they be fighting and shit? Yeah. And, like, Bugs Bunny will step out and the niggas are still in the circle fighting? <laughs> like, that's what I saw. So I'm like, yo, fam. So I'm watching this nigga come out the shit. And then still throw the fucking pass, and the nigga gained like 40 yards on the shit. In case y'all wondering why Josh stuck, because he was struggling a little bit. <laughs> I couldn't. It's because we're watching, so yo, we're watching the game, fucking, and that's it. As we're watching the game, the Patriots are about to lose. Right? It's 45 <laughs> seconds left in this game. And I can see it in his face, as I know. I was talk. watching it, too. I was waiting for him to finish, and I can see him stuck. Like, the Patriots are about to lose to Tennessee in the wild card. Like, it's wild. It's a good playoff weekend, man. Like, I want to it's talk about this shit week. so bad, but it's like... I mean, Grant, it's Tom Brady. The Patriots are about to get the ball back with, with after the punt, maybe 17 seconds left, and they're down by one. So is it possible Tom Brady makes a play and, and wins? Possibly, but yeah, we're still going to be talking as this happens, and it's not going to happen. The Patriots have finally lost, and for the first time in like three years, they will not be in the Super Bowl. I ain't going to lie, man. In 25 seconds, I'm... It's Tom I mean, Brady. I mean, once one you get, point, but you still get the punt though. So once you get the punt, the ball in the air to return, you're looking at 13 seconds. No timeouts. Yeah, no they time still got to. They so. still got to fucking. If they get in field goal range, they'd be all right. But from punting from there, I don't see it. Yeah, they about to put these people down inside the five. So it was a great run. It was a great run. Tom yeah. Brady ain't LeBron no more. He's not. But you know what? Tom Brady is LeBron. Because LeBron didn't make the playoffs last year, like, and that was the first Ooh, time. Oh, yeah, it's over. They pin these people at the Oh, it's yard. over. Yeah, they're getting over. <laughs> they pin these people at the one Oh, yard. man. Okay, let's get back to it, though. So, but yeah, like, <laughs> let's get back to it. Last year was the first time we didn't see LeBron in the finals in yeah. 10 years or whatever it was. Like, that's so it's Yo, the same kind of run. Speaking of which, did you see the shit with Garnett? You, you agree with him? What did Garnett say? He said the Celtics broke LeBron. No. Yeah, he said that. He said he's the reason that they went to Miami. They broke LeBron. Woo, woo, woo. But it's like, bro, like, y'all niggas all ran to Boston because y'all couldn't fuck with Kobe in them. Like, y'all couldn't, niggas couldn't handle Kobe. Man, and y'all barely, like, and I, I like Boston that year. I knew that, I kind of had a feeling they were going to win it, but y'all didn't break LeBron. I mean, LeBron, if, if, if they anything, broke him, he wouldn't have know, beat him twice. If anything, y'all broke y'all fucking selves trying to beat LeBron, and that's why y'all ass had to retire afterwards. <laughs> it's over. It's a pick six. <laughs> I'm looking at you react. That to look at the screen like, what the fuck just happened? Tom Brady threw a pick six. This game is over, folks. Wow. Oh, it is. That's crazy. Yeah, that's crazy. All right, we going to – I want to celebrate on camera so bad. 
Celebrate. <laughs> but nah, I don't I want to was... celebrate. I like the Patriots because nah. they do whatever the fuck they got to do to win. They cheat. They steal. Like they don't give a fuck. They had murderers on the team. Like niggas they gonna do what they got to do. Bro. Yeah, they don't give a nah, fuck. I, yeah. I, Bill Belichick is a real nigga. He do what the fuck he got to do to win. He don't give a shit. No, nah, I don't even. I don't even and, hate the Patriots. And then when I say Tom Brady say nigga on camera to Ed Reed and Ed Reed was cool with it. Oh yeah, yeah, I yeah. Was like, I mean, you know, he probably is a real nigga at that point. Yo, you ever seen uh, Tom Brady? Brady said, you, you know ever you seen him on Instagram? Nah. Tom Brady, yo, Tom Brady with the shits, man. I'm sure he flex. <laughs> I'm sure Tom Brady flex. He, no, not him. Like, you got to catch him in people's comments. Like, he be saying some wild shit in people's oh, really? comments, bro. Yeah, like rappers and everything. Yeah. Like, niggas fuck with Tom Brady. Niggas, niggas fuck with Tom Brady. That's what I, I said that that way on purpose. Yep. But the fact yeah. that Meek fuck with Robert Kraft, the owner of the organization, let me know that. You know, they probably solid all the way there. They might be solid all that, the way That tells you everything that you ever going to need to know. But yeah. Um, y'all witnessed it. Well, y'all didn't witness it live here on the BYOB podcast because y'all will know this by the time this shit come out. <laughs> yeah, this shit going to be. <laughs> we watch it live. As be days happen. old. And the Patriots have lost. But they going to be like, yo, these niggas, <laughs> these niggas was all over the place this week. Good. All over the place. Y'all Speaking love this shit. We keep it unpredictable. Speaking of being all over the place. It's about 11 o'clock at night. Power come back in about 35 minutes. Who shot Ghost? I shot Ghost. I'm the new character. On... No. Um, <laughs> that is the jack. <laughs> That's the whiskey talking. Um, <laughs> nigga, man. <laughs> in, in my suspicion, and again, by the time this comes out, the real answer will be known. But Of course. I think he was dreaming. Or what if the first episode we don't even find out who shot goes? What if they still investigating who shot him? What's the white guy name? Which one, nigga? The lawyer, Sax. Oh, Sax. Yeah, I think it was Sax, man. Sax ain't had nothing to lose. He been chasing this man for five seasons. Dog, but he think done about it. He got people killed behind it. He done lost his job behind it. He gonna do jail time behind it. Think about like, it. Who nigga, the all fuck? that shit? I ain't got shit. Fuck you. Like, who did have something to lose that was in that montage of motherfucking people walking? When it comes to ghosts. Well, if you think about it, if if Tasha and Tariq kill Ghost. That doesn't benefit them. They lose because that's the money maker. Life insurance. It's not that much. Will. Not that much. He probably took them out the will by now. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> like, so, that nigga. so yeah, you can't you can't take out the money maker if that's the case. Tommy want to kill him, but Tommy can't kill him. That's his brother. Like, I don't. He, he, Tommy can't even not fuck with Matter him. Matter of fact, where the fuck is Tommy? I don't know. Because after that shootout, know. the nigga disappeared, and we haven't seen Tommy no more since. That shootout was wild weird, too. It just popped up out of nowhere. We still don't know who the fuck was shooting at him, so. Yeah, that shit was stupid. I mean, it's stupid because I don't know what the fuck is going on. So anytime where I'm confused, shit is stupid. Um, so I don't think it was them. I don't think Lorenz Tate got the balls for it. And I, I don't mean, know, man. That nigga was hurt. I mean, he chopped the nigga down, though, with some words. <laughs> he hurt that nigga. Like, <laughs> they say stick, words don't yeah. hurt you, dog. No, them words hurt that nigga was. That nigga was. Words hurt. He was about to be in tears. Like, that nigga was hurt. But I still don't think, in his position, being the fact that you just were not running for public office, I don't think that I think he. I think Ghost was hallucinating. I don't think he was ever... Nah, I, think some, I don't think he was Things might hit. pop them. Because they foreshadowed it all the way up until that point. You know what I'm saying? That whole last episode, he just kept saying, you know what I'm saying, y'all can't stop me, or whatever his saying yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I think it was foreshadowed that that, that shit actually happened, but... Yeah, I think it was sex. That's what the fuck. <laughs> I think it was sex. Yo, the crazy shit. Why the fuck? Every time this nigga lying, he tell Tommy to think. That's how. That's how you know when he lying. Think, think more. Think, think Tommy. Tommy. Think. Like, <laughs> nigga, I am thinking. I can see. Yeah. You gonna believe me or your lying eyes? Yeah. Like, nigga, you gonna believe me or the truth? Cause what the fuck is going on right now? People hate when I say this, but Tariq probably the realest nigga on the show. He a bitch, but he probably the realest nigga on the show. Right, right. And he's not even a bitch. He's just young and he learning. Nah, I think he's he still a bitch in high school. I mean, yeah, but that, he's still a bitch though, because them young niggas on the wire won't pussy like Tariq pussy. Tariq kind of pussy. Tariq. Only if niggas pussy. hung, if Tariq niggas hung Michael off off the roof, he wouldn't. Uh, Uncle Tommy, please yeah, let me yeah, up. Yeah. But I mean, Tariq only pussy because they they sheltered him. Like, yeah, had they raised Tariq, the, not saying the right way, but. <laughs> That's definitely well, they wrong. tried yeah. to raise him the yeah, right they way. Tried to raise he just right didn't way. give a fuck about but the right way. Had you have been, it's not, and, I, and I'll get this because I can. I have a fucking son now because I used to give advice on having kids, and people be like, yeah. oh, you can't give advice, you don't have kids. So I have a kid now, so I can say what the fuck I want to say. Um, it's not about 
You got to keep it real with your kids, man. Yeah. Stop lying to your kids. Like, Deion Cole said this shit. He was like, you, you buddy your kids up. You make everything so perfect. Oh, you're yeah. great. You're great at this. You're great at that. And you get out in the real world, and we let them know that they suck dick. Yeah. <laughs> like, and they fucking trash. Your, your, your kid is trash because they get out to the real world, and you yeah. didn't show them so much, and you didn't give them anything real. You crippling don't. them. I don't if know if anything, um, you crippling them. So you got to keep it real with your kids. And I think, you know, if power were to be a real life situation, I think that's probably where they went wrong. Like, it's great that you provided him with the best, but you didn't keep it real with him. You didn't let him know what really goes on in the world. Yeah. Not even necessarily drug dealing. You just didn't let them know what goes on in the world. Yeah. And that's what happens to shelter kids when they finally get out into the world. They go fucking stupid. Niggas come out like, yo. <laughs> no? No. No. <laughs> no, there's not. They think they the coolest thing. Yeah. No. Not not at all. Damn. Or they get out and they lose their mind. Because they experience the real world <laughs> and they like that shit. And they do what the fuck they want to do and they just go wild. Yeah. You know? That's like preacher's daughters, bro. Exactly. Like they... they whew. Preacher's daughters are some of the worst best. I have definitely had sex with a preacher's daughter. I was going to say I didn't, but that would be lying. And I don't lie anymore. That's a lie. Um, my goal is to not lie. Did she charge you or it was free pussy? Free pussy. Damn. You're not going to eat. <laughs> I'm just... No, I'm you're really trying to say that shit. Like, I just <laughs> bought pussy in my life. Have I purchased pussy before? Yeah, I have. Don't say before like you ain't do that shit more than one time. It's been two occasions of my life where I purchased vagina. Hey, man, Martin said it best. It's going to cost you. You know. Might cost you a little, might cost you a lot, but it's going to cost you. For real? And For it's real? not always monetary. Like, you're going to somehow. You like, know why I did that shit? Because I just like to say I did shit in life. I, de- I, I like to. People go through life and don't experience so, you so just, much. So you just need conversation pieces. So niggas can be like, yeah, I bought, it's not oh, conver- I bought some pussy too. It's not conversation. It's just for me. <laughs> it's, just, it's literally just like <laughs> people go through life and they deny themselves experiencing so much shit in life, yo. And it's like, oh, I never did this. Oh, I never did that. I just be like, yeah, I did that shit. So you like, buying in my mind, In my mind, I can be like, yeah, I did that shit. I feel like. So what was the second time? You was on some tank shit just had to make sure you liked it? No, nah, the second time you I had think to I, just make sure you wanted to buy the pussy. No, nah, the second time I, I had, had to, I had to clear that up. No, nah, it was. It was <laughs> <laughs> I was on the road. It was a long road trip. I stopped through halfway through the road trip. I was like, "Fucking, I'm bored in the city tonight. I'm going to yeah. sleep." So let me see what's in the city. I feel like going nowhere. I'll just be real with you. So, so Vegas, you gonna make it three times? I it, like I said, the adult video expo is in Vegas. So my attempt is to get some free pussy from one of these nice adult video stars that I admire so much. You might pull up on a porn star for I might. and they might be with you the know shits. Me. You know me. They might be with I, the shits. So if not, if it's going to run me a little bit of change. Yeah, they might, they might feel a little desperate and just want to... They got to be desperate to... F- yo, your niggas are not your niggas, yo. <laughs> when they cutting these porn hub checks, y'all not getting a dollar from you, you hear me? <laughs> I don't want. I don't want your poor. I don't want your poor hood money. You want poor hood money? What's your fucking poor hood money, nigga? Yo. <laughs> fuck? All right. So had a wild conversation. No, it wasn't even a wild conversation. It was just a conversation about dude. out was like, would y'all? He was asking security and me. He was like, would y'all do security at a gay bar? Would you bartend the gay bar? Yeah. But I was like, yeah, the motherfucker spend money. I'm bartending. Like, that's what I said. A couple of niggas was like, nah, I probably wouldn't. You know, security got to search the niggas and shit. So, whatever. <laughs> but the nigga was like, shit, nigga, I would only get half club. the niggas that they searching in the regular clubs. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Gay as a bitch. Yeah, I've they never, just got damn, nigga, don't nobody know yet. I've but never. But the nigga they fucking. Nigga, I've never seen a gay $20. <laughs> you ever seen a gay 20? Nah. <laughs> I've never seen a gay 20. So, I don't give a fuck where the money come from. See? I'm not doing gay porn. <laughs> I, don't, do, so I, I mean, do, I don't, I don't I, know if that was a thought in nobody's mind, but I, no, but look, <laughs> so because I was serious about this shit, because my only, yeah. my only fans is jumping this year. <laughs> I was doing some research, my like only fans is jumping. <laughs> <laughs> This nigga crazy. I'm gonna put my cash up, my bio, my and all only, types of shit. Be my only fans is jumping lit. this year. My, <laughs> that shit sounds wild. <laughs> no, I, mean, I was doing some research like how they, how men get into the porn industry, and they say a lot of them do some gay shit first. And I'm like, yeah, I'm not with that. Yeah, that's wild. That's wild. I didn't know that. I was like, that's wild. So I'm cool with that. I'd rather spend the money 
I mean, I watched the documentary on how women get in. A lot of them be having like fucked up lives and shit. Mm-hmm. And then some of them just, they just with it. Little whores. Yeah. Like, um, what's the joke, man? Uh, Tiana Taylor. I mean, damn, Tiana Trump. <laughs> Tiana Trump. Podcast over. We are done. <laughs> shut it we down. definitely about to get shut down now. Now, Tiana yeah. Trump. Tiana Taylor, if you drop it off. Like she me, said, she was a whore in high school. Why not make Why some money it? off of it? Tiana Taylor, if you drop it a porn video, please. I'm, let me oh, know. I'm, I'm please. on that. I'm, I'm watching that. I'll pay for your OnlyFans subscription. <laughs> um, I don't think she's, she's going to need an OnlyFans because it's Tiana Taylor. So I think her shit I respect going, the hustle, but I really wish bitches try to... It's going like, to do numbers. Don't include me in your OnlyFans shit, because I'm not buying it. I'm not. I'm not. No, and then the crazy shit, they try to make it seem like... I respect the hustle. Just Yeah, but then they try to make it seem like niggas is corny if they don't want to buy their mm-hmm. OnlyFans. Like, okay, bitch, whatever. Oh, y'all niggas, <laughs> like, you got it. <laughs> y'all niggas want to holler at me, but y'all want to buy my videos. Yes. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Like, what the fuck is this video going to do for me? <laughs> Earn this forty dollars like 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 the rest of civilization, the honest way. The fuck. You know how I really feel. I feel like bitches that have OnlyFans, like again, I respect the hustle, and I respect all women, but bitch, you really shouldn't be talking shit to nobody. Like, I can see an asshole for ten dollars a month. Yeah. <laughs> like. You definitely not better than me. <laughs> you definitely not better than if me. If we're gonna put this shit on the scale, like let's just <laughs> You definitely not better than me. I don't give a fuck if you might make fucking fifty thousand dollars more than me a year doing that shit. You still not a better yeah. You still not better than me. Yeah, you put your asshole on sale. <laughs> yeah, I need, I need I need to know what goes on on the OnlyFans though, like I need one of my niggas because I know one of y'all filthy ass niggas can <laughs> subscribe. Stop lying like y'all niggas don't buy that shit. Cause somebody yeah. buying that shit, these bitches is doing it. Send a nigga some send a nigga the login info. No, you could cool. ain't it the same ain't it the same for everybody, right? Like, you a sneaky nigga. Same, yeah. 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 One of y'all niggas send me the login info. <laughs> everybody buy Niggas one. do it for Netflix. <laughs> <I can't. laughs> Everybody purchase one OnlyFans account. We all just share yeah, each other along. Yeah, share it. Like, niggas just throw a dollar in. Yeah, niggas do it for Netflix, so I want to do it for some pussy flicks. I'm going to put a thread on Reddit. <laughs> Everybody just drop their login in for, for their OnlyFans. What's good? Like, I, because even with the premium, um, niggas was doing that for the premium snaps. Oh, I, man, this is still weird. Like... Niggas was doing that for the premium snaps. I got blocked a couple times. Like, how, how, you, how did you know that I won't buy it? That's how I know when they shit ain't pop, not popping. Because if you can notice that I'm one of the niggas that didn't purchase it but got the login information, like, you, mm. you don't have a lot of traffic. Or maybe because I might have just said some wild shit. It is you. It's always you. <laughs> I might have said some wild shit. It is you. <laughs> but, yeah. Any closing thoughts, man? Man, I'm glad we're back. Yeah. 2020 is going to be a new year. Um, new experiences. I'm going to start taking my own advice and our advice. Like, there's no more talking about doing shit. We got to do it. It's just going to be done. We got to do it. That's a and, fact. And, and everything I do, I, and I'm sure you probably feel the same way, everything that I do from here on out is going to be full throttle. It's all in. Because uh, there's too much money out here to get to not be getting it. <laughs> That's a fact. It's too much you know I like to travel, so it's too much traveling to, to be done to not be doing it. Yeah, dog. It's my, too much life for us to to live doing the shit that we want to do versus the shit that we have to do. Yeah. We both got regular day jobs, like yeah. So it's cool. They pay the bills. Yeah. It even. I mean, I can't. My day job pay enough where I got a little bit extra more than just pay the bills. It ain't. It ain't I'm not. Let's be realistic. You talk <laughs> talk your shit like you want to. Like, <laughs> Am I struggling? No. Am I rich? Am I wealthy? Can yes. I just get up and do it? Yes. No, I'm not. I can't just get up and go do it the fuck I want to do every fucking day because I got to get up and go to work first. Like, and then I got to account for bills and shit and then a little extra play money go. But So I can't do it the fuck I want to do. But Yeah, and then that play money can turn into bill money real, real quick. quick. <laughs> like, That's because it ain't no... Like, you know what I'm saying? If, you, if 
you gotta niggas gotta learn to do emergency stashes, start saving better. We gonna get financial tips. You gonna get a lot from us this year. Yeah. And I just feel like we gonna make And we gonna be more consistent. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This podcast is gonna become part of daily life. It's not necessarily yeah. just gonna be us sitting on the couch talking and chopping yeah. it up. It's like you said, we may be out individually on our phones one day. Yeah, just like yo, I feel like I need to shoot doing this some and important this. shit. Yeah. And and that's what it's gonna be. So we're gonna really live through this shit. And so that's that's my that's my closing thoughts for we gonna live through this. Yeah. We gonna make it. We yep. gonna make it. Speaking of that, so I seen a random ass dope quote earlier. It was on depression. Mm-hmm. For everybody who suffered through depression or y'all who fake like y'all got depression, but y'all really just bullshitting and looking for attention. Whatever. If you rearrange the letters in, in depression, you can get I pressed on. So... That's what we doing for 2020, man. We're going to press on. We're going to get what we want to get. We're going to get everything we deserve and everything we came for, man. This nigga's a fucking poet now. I do that shit, man. I do. <laughs> 2020 different. This nigga's Pull deep up now. on me, baby. <laughs> Pull up 2020 different. Pull up on me. This nigga deep now with it and shit. I pressed on. I had to start off right, man. We can't. I pressed on. Yeah, I pressed on. I thought that shit was dope. <laughs> nah, that, was nah like, that shit is. That shit like, is, I pressed though. On. I was like, yeah, that's fire. I saw it on the internet and probably gonna steal it and make it into a t shirt and sell it. So if y'all wanna buy it, it's gonna be up for $25 yeah. soon. Um, <laughs> but it's gonna be fire though. Yo, nah, that's Speaking dope. of t shirts, I need like, to um, I need it because I need one of them, uh, the Black Mental Health Matter yeah. shirts. That's like the, in, the impossible shit. Instead of saying it's impossible, say I'm possible. I'm possible. Yeah. The I press on shit is better though. Yeah. I'm possible is just like it's, it's like, it's right there. Like, you don't scramble no letters up. Don't here. steal my is. shit that I stole from other people. Yeah, it ain't about who invented it. It's about who trademarked. Exactly. <laughs> that's the fact. That's fact. A, who gets the paperwork done first? We know motherfucking Thomas Edison ain't invent the motherfucking light bulb. Yeah. He trademarked that motherfucker. He patented it. I got so. another one, but I'm not gonna. I got a couple. Uh, yeah, save uh, it for next week. Yeah. If you need one, there, just write nah, it down. Nah, nah, nah. I'm not gonna give it to y'all. They're just gonna be in the t-shirts, and y'all can purchase the t-shirts for twenty-five dollars. Oh, Back. So, BYOB podcast merchandise soon to come. <laughs> Yeah, man, my um, my closing thoughts for the week, man, is just, my closing thoughts for the week is take care of yourself. Be more conscious of your health and shit, man, like, and not, not for show and don't do this shit for social media, don't do, like, really take care of yourself. Drink more water, eat better. You it know is what I'm 2020. Yeah. Go get an STD check. People should have been doing that shit anyway. They should have, but let's be realistic, people don't, like... I do. No, they even have the shit you can take at home. Like, no, I'm talking about. Go, I'm just saying, but yeah, you should definitely go. go. To, like, yeah, I, that's what go. that's that's Thank what I'm telling everybody. Fucking do. Like, in January of 2020, to start off your new decade, I need everybody to go get new refresh paperwork. Yeah, that's a fact. Well, well, you know, most paperwork. places don't give out paperwork unless you request it. Most places, you just hope you don't get a call back. I need paperwork, B. <laughs> I used to just, look. I used to take my SED <laughs> results on my refrigerator like it was good grades. <laughs> Yeah, some places you just hope that you don't get a fucking call back. Yeah, I'm saying. Like, I that? guess it just depends on where you go. You that bitch? I got straight negatives. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good. <laughs> like, bitch, non-reactive everywhere. Non-reactive. Bitch, you see that, right? Ooh. Now come in this room and react. Yeah, re- <laughs> to this raw, <laughs> to this clean, to this clean raw penis. Because <laughs> condoms are still in 20, they're trash in 2020. <laughs> but yeah, nah, for real. Uh, take care of yourself, though. Like, yeah, that's a fact. Because we, we made it so cool to be unhealthy. Like, even to, like, you know what I'm saying? We're not the smallest niggas in the world, and I ain't try, we ain't trying to tell you to not, you know, be proud of who you are yeah. and shit, but at the same time, we definitely made it cool to be proud to be unhealthy. I can say that, yeah, I'm not even going to debate that. Uh, we made it, we, I mean, we made it cool. Yeah. Like, I understand body positivity yeah. and all that, it's, not, it's to, not to shame people, but at least... Because you can, you can be big and still in good health. Like, yeah. I... I make sure like I don't have high blood pressure, I yeah. don't have diabetes, yeah. like none of that. So my only problem is nigga, you're overweight. Cool. Yeah. Could I, I stand can to lose with that? Yeah, could I stand to lose some weight? Probably. But I I don't ever want to be a, you know, for six one they say I'm supposed to be like one eighty five, one ninety, some small shit like that. Yeah. I'm not. That's nothing. Like bro, I'm. I don't want to be that. I'm two forty five right now. Like, you talking about taking sixty pounds off of me, and well, I'm already sure. not that fucking big. No, you like, got yeah. me way beat. I wish I could be 245. 240, 250 would be the lowest I, I go. I mean, you can if you fucking take this advice I'm trying to give. You're right, but 250 <laughs> would be the lowest. I wouldn't want to be anything less than 250. I wouldn't be comfortable as myself. 
You don't know that until you. I've been there, so I do know that. I just didn't. It wasn't me. So I'm okay with. You know what I'm saying? Driving a couple times, I get down to two fifty. Ooh, got you. So you cool with being a fake ass Gerald Levert? That's what's up. I hate him so much. <laughs> but I thought she was gonna change coming into 2020. No, I still hate him. I still left him in 2019. New year, new. New bullshit, cause we on it. That's it. I'm back with my bullshit. You hear me? <laughs> I got my peace of mind back. I'm starting to get back to being who I am or who I, who I was yeah. versus who I, you know what I'm saying. So, I'm back with my bullshit, man. And I'm, I'm with it. Fuck it. We out. Toast up to the new year. Happy New Year, man. I love you, bro. Love you too, brother. Next week, uh, episode won't be all over the place, but it don't matter because y'all love this shit anyway. We had to get back, man. Sometimes it's just, when you when you do this shit and you really love doing this shit, man, yeah. sometimes you just got to get back, but we got some shit. So we'll go back to structure next week. This was just an introductory. We just having a conversation today. So that's it. We just having a conversation, talking about a few things, and next week we going, if we still here, <laughs> if, <laughs> if, if America is still standing and shit. Then we we gonna be good. Like I don't know what what may occur. I'm building a bomb shelter in my mom's backyard. My brother has enough guns for all of us to survive. So like, bro, we living off. And we don't. We're, we're real life. That's why I'm not even worried about war. Because I'm gonna <laughs> like, take what I got and I'm gonna go to Brock House and we cool. Like, yeah, we gonna have a shootout with whoever. Whoever. I'm pop definitely. Pop. I'm I'm sure that nigga probably got a fucking tripod for. Gun the only thing he a, doesn't have is a bomb shelter. Like. <laughs> So I'm cool. We're good. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I was gonna say. But that I mean, and at the same time, nigga, we live in Norfolk. What the fuck is we gonna find some land to dig? <laughs> a yeah, fucking right. bomb shelter. At? This is true. We are rambling about nothing. Man. And we then we gonna have a whole bunch of crackheads and shit. Like, hey man, can I come in there too? Like, nigga, no move. One of the shirts I'm gonna make is we be like, I ain't got no change. <laughs> <laughs> so when you get out, the oh store, yeah. yeah, when you get out the car at the <laughs> store, they be like, hey man, you got some? You see this? Hey nigga. hey, nigga, look. I ain't got no. I ain't got shit. And on the back, you say, shit, I was going to ask you. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's what I be. You know, when I realized, look, look, man, you know when I realized I'm an asshole? What? A homeless person asked me for some money, and I was like, man, you shit. You probably doing better than me. It's a fact, though. <laughs> Just because I pull up at the store doesn't mean I got it. Like, nigga, nigga I'm, I, about, I'm about to overdraft my account to get this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Life be and, real. and and hope this shit don't post before my direct deposit hits, so I don't get hit with the fee. You know what I'm saying? Like, 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 niggas live. We we do. <laughs> it sounds like we joke about each other being rich, and neither one of us are really struggling in life. We we've also done some real nigga nah, shit. Like, nah, I've been there, so I was like, all right, I got three days before the shit posts. And we the, <laughs> look, we all know that you can swipe your credit card at the gas pump on credit. Oh, and it's and a dollar. It, yeah, it pre-authorized a dollar. You, you can dollar feel your take up. Yeah, that's that's whatever. Fact. So we all. We do real nigga shit. We, yeah. just, we just try not to. <laughs> like I said, if niggas think I'm, I'm wild in the state I am now, y'all niggas wait till I get this money. Y'all niggas ain't go, y'all gonna be like, this nigga job lost his motherfucking mind. They say if money don't change you, you ain't making enough. Yeah. They gonna be like, yo, why the fuck is this nigga on a giraffe coming down the fucking street? Asshole. And I'll be podcast, man. And I'm getting my giraffe some gold. Stay me on Jeffrey's giraffe in the ghetto. <laughs> we good. <laughs> Till next week.